Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the last installment in my makeup collection series for my eyeshadow palettes. Well, for now at least, until I purchase some more and add them to my collection. And the last palette I'm going to be talking about is the Cargo Cosmetics You Had Me at Aloha palette. Now, I um, showed you guys this palette in my recent haul video, and it was, I believe, around $30 to $34, somewhere around there. And I actually happened to find it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I can't remember which one of the two it was, for only $5. Now, I was a little skeptical when I first um, purchased this palette I was like um, maybe it wasn't doing so well and that's why it's so discounted maybe the shades aren't so good but when I first played with this palette I completely changed my mind and I think I mentioned in the video or some video that I did do a look with it and I fell in love and this past weekend, I actually used it again and tried to switch it up and get a little bit out of my comfort zone. And once again, I loved how my eyeshadow came out. So probably, I don't want to say maybe this week, but it might be this week. I'm going to go ahead and try to film a tutorial using this palette. Just to kind of show you, just in case you um, happen to run across it or something but um like I said in um some of my previous videos if you don't like channels that use palettes that are limited edition or that you can't get a hold of um anymore well I'm sorry um but I'm not gonna not use the stuff that I have just because um, it isn't available anymore. Makeup is fun. I know that there are um, other people who do own this palette and sometimes they get, you know, stumped. They don't know what to do. They just want to see something different and they may want to see something like that. I feel like just because um, there aren't any more uh, well, th that you can't purchase this anymore, that there shouldn't be any more um, fun, creative things that you can find online. So, same with like the naked palettes, you always see the same tutorials over and over and over again because nobody's using it, nobody's like trying to, um, we're so congested with so many palettes that it's hard to use up the stuff that we already own. Well, I mean, I went off a tangent, but um, I actually really do like this palette. Now, it was hard for me to find a lot of information on this palette, seeming that it is limited edition and it is no longer available. But I did find a description for the palette on the influencer website. It says, "This is a Hawaiian themed." 12 well eyeshadow palette that features a versatile mix of neutral and pop shades inspired by Hawaii's beautiful natural beach, floral, and forest landscape. 12 eyeshadows, versatile, and a dual ended applicator brush included, and a black eyeliner pencil helps define your upper and lower eyelids. And it says these are all paraben free and then it goes on and tells you how to use the shadows and that's about it it doesn't even say um the description on the shades i'm gonna try to be as descriptive as possible but i am not very good at it so you will have to bear with me now let's open this up and look at the shades so here are all the shades in the palette Hula, Waikiki, Hapuna, Kona, Shell, Shaka, Hibiscus, Island, 
Kai, Tiki, Lei, and Luau. I am hope I'm saying all those names right. I'm not sure if I am. Um, but as you can see, um, there are a lot of neutral shades in this palette. And there are some, um, pops of color. And on the box, um, which I already threw away, um, the first three and bottom three are meant to be like their own little palette shades like together that those are the shades that go well together and the next and the last three on the top and on the bottom are meant to be used the same obviously you can mix and match them as you please but that's what it said on the back of the box that they made it in a way that you wouldn't have to really think about what you're gonna do if you were in a rush and you just wanted to go and you kind of just want a little of a, of a direction on what to do with your shadows and that is something that I really do love in palettes if they are broken up like that it makes it a lot easier for me to kind of just look and see and try it out and just go from there and later on I'll get more familiar with the shades, more familiar with the palette and then I can decide you know what I'm gonna do this and this I'm gonna try something different because I already know how the shadows work and I know that I created something that is wearable unlike just a whole bunch of shades thrown together and you gotta try and see if it's gonna look right or not and that can sway your decision on um, the shadows themselves because of the look that you created might have not um, gone together so well so I really do like that they did that in this palette now I have tried Hula, Waikiki, uh, Buna, Hibiscus, Island, Kai, Co well actually you know what now that I look at it I think I have tried every single shade in the palette besides maybe Luau or maybe just watched it I really can't remember um so I think I basically tried all of them um I did use them how they are split so I haven't gone in separately and kind of figured out a different type of look but the look the shadows that I used this past weekend are the um, the Hula Waikiki, Hapuna, Hibiscus, Island, and Kai. And I love how that look turned out. But I like the other side um, a little bit better. And I think if I do do a tutorial this week, it will be using the right sh side of the palette. So every shadow that I used, I thought worked very well was very pigmented blended well with one exception and that was Hula Hula is a very 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 crumbly shade and it has a lot of fallout has a lot of kick up but if you wet the shadow before placing it on your lid then it still works beautifully it you can make it work is what I'm trying to say. It's not um, such a dud that no help um, can make that shadow look good. But if you wet your brush a little bit, you can definitely make it work. And it turns out beautiful. So all in all, I really do like this palette and I'm very surprised. And it's actually making me want to go ahead and check out some more cargo eyeshadow palette so if you guys have any cargo eyeshadow palettes um please leave a comment down below and let me know which one you have and how well you like it and if it is still available and i would definitely love to check them out because this palette has opened up a new um door for me because i never really um played with cargo um eyeshadows before Okay, so here are the first six shades, Hula, Waikiki, Hapuna, Kona, Shell, and Shaka. As you can see, I'm using the flash again, 
so you can see the shimmers a little bit better and they are just gorgeous and they look beautiful on the lid as you can see Hula at the top um, is, is the crumbly shade and it's still beautiful swatched so you can definitely work with it here are the last six shades Hibiscus, Island, Kai, Tiki, Lei, and Luau as you can see they are very beautiful and very pigmented and just watching this bottom row is giving me in some inspiration as well to try a different look with these shades okay so those are my thoughts on the cargo you had me at aloha palette i really enjoy this palette and if you happen to come across it i highly suggest that you pick it up it is definitely worth the money even at the original price price tag but obviously if you find it at a discount even better um i'm actually gonna go ahead and see if i go back and find some more because i would definitely pick one up as a backup because i just love how this um palette works and just it blends well like i've said before and i just think this is definitely a great addition to my collection so if you like this video please hit that like button and if you aren't subscribed already please hit that subscribe button i post every monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and some weeks i post more than that it just really depends on my schedule so if you have any requests please leave them a comment down below and let me know what you might want to see i do have some videos um already planned that are coming up so it might take a while for me to get to them or if you want to see a certain product i don't mind going out and purchasing it and doing a review or giving you some swatches on that specific product so i hope i see you in my next video bye